for me, I was like bag, wallet, bag, wallet, and I would always go for the bag instead of the wallet. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kiki and you're watching Miss Kiki's Curl. So today's video is super exciting. <laughs> I say that like all the time, but it is a Louis Vuitton unboxing. This is actually one of two unboxings. This is the unboxing of the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet, which I will show in a moment. But just for a little bit of backstory, this is a wallet that I have wanted for like years. Like I saw it years ago and I really loved it, really wanted it. And then I kind of just forgot about it. Like it fell off of my radar. I was not seeing it anywhere and I don't know. However, recently I have been thinking, I have a couple of bags that I have thankfully been able to purchase that I treated myself to. And I was like, I think it's time for me to get some SLGs, okay? I was like, you know what? I need a little wallet or something to put in my purses. Um, and I want something that is like a nice luxury brand piece to add. So since it is my birthday this month, I decided to treat myself. Initially wanted the Recto Verso. It's been out of stock, in stock, out of stock. So I was like, you know what? Forget that. Let me see if there is something else that I might like just as much, if not better. And I searched the SLGs, I searched the small wallets, and I found the Victorine. And I was like, I forgot how much I wanted this. So I decided to order this. Um, was super excited because this was also in and out of stock, but I happened to get it while it was in stock and then I ordered it and literally two days later the Recto Verso came in stock as well. So I'm going to have two separate unboxings and then I really need your guys' help to help me decide which one I should keep and which one I should let go because I don't think I need two wallets. Like it's not that serious so yeah if you guys would like to see my unboxing of the louis vuitton victorine wallet then let's go ahead and jump right in i don't remember the timeline and i didn't research the timeline but basically i ordered this and it came in like two three days i think it came in this brown box cover the address there and then that's the label on the front it does have this um what is it called like this little tab that I can rip off. So I'm just gonna do that now for the first time ever. This is exciting. All right, so we ripped the tab off and that is what the box looks like. If you guys have seen some of my other unboxing, Louis Vuitton usually does this box. Um, for their items, it's either bigger or smaller depending on what you purchase. And then that is the box that came inside. There is this envelope. So let's go ahead and open this first. Um, this just has information on the product, information on exchanges, a return label in case I need to return, which I love how they make it so convenient. And then of course my um, note of purchase. So this is for the Vic Victorine wallet. And I don't know why it says gift receipt because I well, to give to myself, but it came in the little like box that slides out, which is really neat. And it came with some ribbon. Um, I don't, I'm trying to think back from my other unboxing. I think my other unboxing, I don't think they gave me ribbon if I remember correctly. So thanks Louis Vuitton. Guess there's no shortages any longer. So open the box and that is what it looks like inside. So as with, I think almost all Louis Vuitton um, products like purses, wallets, you get the little dust bag that says Louis Vuitton, which is super cute and great for storage. Whenever you open the dust bag, <laughs> that is what the wallet looks like. Now, granted guys, I have only seen this um, like online. I've never seen it in person. So this is so cute. All right, so that is what the wallet looks like in the front. So this is the Victorine wallet with the rose ballerine. So it does have the pink um, little snap on the front and then it does have some pink on the interior. Whenever you open it, it does have this little protector thing that was in there. It's a piece of paper. If you open the wallet, this is what it looks like. So if we turn it to the side, um, let's see, there's one, two, three, there's six little slots there which is something I really liked about this wallet is that it looked online like it was really compact and 
obviously in person it is fairly compact as well but then it does kind of open up like a billfold wallet and you do have like a lot of room for cards and then there's even the area for uh, cash in the back as well so yeah it has the six slots here it has this massive area for cash like how 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 many bills am i gonna have back there um it has the louis vuitton there in gold and then obviously this is all in the pink rose ballerine and then on the side it does have a little zipper compartment so you can use that for um coins and it does have the little pink leather rose ballerine tab there so that is what the wallet looks like opened and yeah she is beautiful if i keep this should i just like keep the little paper <laughs> is that being extra <laughs> probably is so that is what the wallet looks like i think she is so cute online i imagine this being a little bit smaller um, but it's actually a, like, it's a good size. This would fit into my multi pochette purse. It would fit into my Prada bags. It would fit into some of my smaller bags. It is still fairly compact, just not as tiny as I thought it was going to be. I really like it. I, I think that is the cutest thing. I think the pop of this like pastel light pink is just beautiful and gorgeous. And then I love the monogram. I thought this was going to be like an easy decision between the two wallets, but honestly, I don't know. One thing I do wish is maybe that there were some extra card holders, but maybe not because then that would kind of bulk it out. Um, but I'm notorious for carrying a lot of stuff. There's one issue that has always been on my mind with this wallet is this dang button. So obviously this is like a coated um, metal button. It's coated in that pink paint. And the only thing I think about is with constant wear, I know that it can get scratched. I know that the paint can peel off. I know that you can have issues like that. So that is the only thing I'm just not entirely sure about with this wallet. I did go on Etsy recently and I saw they have like little covers that you can put on them, like little plastic covers, which I thought is a good idea. But then I thought if you put it on and you leave it on for a long time and then try and peel it off, will it peel the paint off? I don't know. Um, I don't know what else to say about this, guys. That is the Rose Ballerine wallet. Love her, she's so cute. Um, packaging, boxing, everything was spot on. Um, I will obviously go ahead and like investigate a little more off camera just because you guys know I had a couple issues with my multi pochette quality control issues. So I will definitely go ahead and double check this out off camera, but just looking at her right now i don't see anything that is going to be an issue let me know your guys' thoughts let me know your opinions i do think she's super cute so we'll have to see how the other unboxing goes but right now she's giving me like butterflies like i'm excited about her i'm just not sure and let me know if you have this wallet what you think about it the wear you've gotten out of it how this button has worked out for you anyways i hope that you guys enjoyed this unboxing for the Victorine wallet. Um, hope this is helpful if this is something that you guys are planning to purchase. If you have any questions on anything, let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, stay safe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.